Hi, Anna. Let's take a look at this new set of essays that you've uh, sent us. The first one is about the job application letter. Let's see what you said. To whom it may concern, I would like to express my enthusiasm uh, in applying for the logistics analyst position. I believe I have all the necessary qualifications required to fill this job. All right. Full stop here, not a comma, okay? I am a senior industrial engineer with ample experience in logistics and supply chain management. I have been completely customer focused for more than eight years, giving spare parts and transportation service to various clients. All right. Again, here a full stop is necessary or you needed to put an and, okay? I consider myself a good leader, a t great team player, and very analytical. I am certain. Remember, it's a formal letter, so there's no contractions. I am certain I can be a great asset to your company if you give me the opportunity. I know that this brief introduction of my professional experience cannot express the complete skill set I possess. Therefore, I'd be thrilled to speak to the recruiter over an interview. Attached will find my resume. Please do not hesitate to ask me questions. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours faithful, Annabelle Pacheco. All right, so Annabelle. Uh, let's see. First of all, um... Where is your, I think that what you're trying to do here is you're trying to put the, um, the two bullets together. So the previous experience as well as your qualifications. Um, so reading your essay, I kept thinking to myself how short it felt. And uh, I decided to do a word count. And it turns out that your essay, um, your letter here, is actually 154 words. So... While, yes, you are above the minimum word count, it still feels a little underdeveloped. Um, let's talk about where. First of all, where do you really talk about your energy and enthusiasm for the position? Okay? Uh, you say that you're going to be a great asset for the company, but you never really go into it. You also say here you would like to express your enthusiasm. But that's just not enough. So you need to say a little more here. So how could you express energy and enthusiasm? Well, one way you could do it is by saying um, some sort of skill set that you have acquired because you know that this company, um, you know, needs it, all right? Maybe from your research into it or something like that. So perhaps you know that they use a certain software package. And so you on your own time decided to um, attend seminars and uh, lessons on that particular software package, okay? That would be showing enthusiasm. Or maybe in your particular job, something that you have done that really went above and beyond the call of duty to show that uh, you're really enthusiastic and really energetic about your profession and your career and uh, this type of work, okay? So something a little more tangible is what's needed here. Um, let's see. Now, you said you have necessary qualifications, but you didn't really tell me what those qualifications are. So maybe you could have talked about your degrees. Maybe you could have talked about some certifications, some certif certificates you have, something. Again, a little more development here, all right? Because just because you're over the word count, it doesn't mean that um, it's, it's developed. And, um, you know, sometimes... It's, it's just not enough just to be at that at that minimum, okay? It's like, it's like four, letter, four words above the minimum. So like I said, I really would have liked a little more extension here. Um, you could have talked a little bit more about your, um, right, like you keep telling me about the complete skill set, but I don't know what that skill set is. Uh, yeah, I talked, you talked a little bit about it here, but again, a little more extension is what's needed. I, I hope that makes sense. Um, that you just needed to say more. You need to give more details, all right? Um, and now, don't forget that your name doesn't come on the same line. Your name absolutely has to belong underneath, okay? It's just one of the conventions of letter writing, so keep that in mind as well. Let's take a look here at your um, task two. All right, experts throughout the developed and developing world have debated whether having expensive wedding parties is beneficial or unfavorable. Some believe that paying a large amount of money will assure, ensure, I think you want, ensure the best event. Personally, I strongly disagree. This essay will argue two points of view, using examples from the UK government and Boston University to demonstrate and prove arguments. All right, uh, on the one hand, there is ample evidence that everything involving the planning of a wedding is extremely expensive. However, some people do not mind spending a lot of money and actually believe it is Worth it. Remember, no contractions. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, couples consider this day the most important in their lives. 
Secondly, given that the guests are special for the couple, it is crucial for them to offer the best food, music, place, and beverages. For example, recent empirical research by the UK government demonstrated that 80% of all married couples who went over budget do not regret it, and instead, they still remember this day as the best day of their lives. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that spending large amounts of money is not a priority. Is not a priority? I'm not sure I understand that. Okay. Um, for most couples. We'll talk about that in a minute. On the other hand, although it is a one-time experience, the impacts of the costs can drag on for a long time. This is large because many couples end up asking for bank loans that are very difficult to pay. For example, an extensive study by Oxford University showed that 4 out of 10 married couples finish their debt 2 years after the event. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt that you should not spend more than what you can afford. To conclude for the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that even though having an expensive wedding party might seem like the best option, there are many other alternatives that can fit into your budget and still allow you to have a great event without having to get into debt. This demonstrates the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. All right, so grammar, very good. Uh, I read it very easily. It flowed very nicely, um, so no problems there. Um, this was very clear. This was clear as well. Um, so it's it's fine. Um, the areas that I have a problem with, the areas that I have a problem with are your body paragraphs um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, look at what it says. Do the benefits, plural, outweigh the disadvantages, plural. So you have to ask yourself, how many benefits did you really give and how many disadvantages did you really give? Um, it looks like you did give two advantages here in this paragraph, but here clearly you only had one disadvantage. All right, so uh, an examiner is going to look at that and think that it's underdeveloped because you only gave a disadvantage, not disadvantages. All right, so that's the first thing. Uh, it's a short little paragraph, so again, it needed extension. You needed to say more for sure. Now, as far as your advantages are concerned, um, this is a problem that a lot of people have been having with this essay. I felt like what you expressed as benefits of spending a lot of money are actually reasons why people spend a lot of money. So what, do, what am I trying to say? Um, I'm going to spend a lot of money because I want this. Okay? But the benefit to spending a lot of money is I spent a lot of money and as a result I gained this. Okay, so it's different. The, the, the framing of it is different. So let's see. Like here, for example, um, it's the most important day in their lives. Um, I wanted you to put your support for this directly after. Not firstly this, secondly this, and then your support. After each main idea, your support goes there. Okay? Um, so you said it's the most important day of their lives. What does that mean? So... Um, let's see. What did you say here? You said that guests are special for the couple. It is crucial for them to offer the best. Again, it sounds like a reason why you're doing it. All right, because my guests are special, I'm going to spend a lot of money to treat them well. All right, but a benefit would be that um, the guests themselves feel honored and they feel... Uh, more supportive of the couple and their marriage because they themselves feel that they were respected and honored uh, because the couple spent a lot of money on them. So do you see how the framing of it is different? It's just a different way of looking at, at the issue. So this is what I wanted you to work on a little bit. Um, this is actually something that a lot of students writing this essay have been getting wrong. They frame it incorrectly. Talking more about the spending of money um, and making it a reason the things that the couple wants as reasons and not really talking about the benefits. So what is gained in general, both for the couple, maybe for their family, maybe for their friends, or maybe even for the wedding industry. This is something that I find very few people have been talking about, that there's a whole industry behind this. And, um, you know, jobs are supported and people's livelihoods are supported through this industry. Okay? So those are some things that I want you to keep in mind. Um, go ahead and correct these essays, return them back to as corrected, and let's see what you write in your next set. All right, good luck.